First reading, a reading from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 7, verses 10 to 14 and 8 to 10. The Lord spoke to Ahaz, saying, Ask for a sign from the Lord your God. Let it be deep as the nether world or high as the sky. But Ahaz answered, I will not ask. I will not tempt the Lord. Then Isaiah said, Listen, O house of David, is it not enough for you to weary people? Must you always weary my God? Therefore the Lord himself will give you this sign. The virgin shall be with child and bear a son and shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. The Word of the Lord Second Reading a reading from the letter of Hebrews, chapter 10, verse 4 to 10. Brothers and sisters, it is impossible that the blood of bulls and goats take away sins. For this reason, when Christ came into the world, he said, Sacrifice and offering you did not desire, but a body you prepared for me. In holocausts and sin offerings, you took no delight. Then I said, As is written of me in the scroll, Behold, I come to do your will, O God. First he says, Sacrifices and offerings, Holocausts and sin offerings, You neither desired nor delighted in. These are offered according to the law. Then he says, Behold, I come to do your will. He takes away the first to establish the second. By this will, we have been consecrated through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. The Word of the Lord A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. For you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, how can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, Mother Mary, as a woman who was living in Jewish society, knew Mosaic law very well. She knew that if a woman is found with a child before living together with, his own, with her own husband, 
it is a serious crime which can cost even the loss of one's lost loss of one's own life mother mary knew all these details that is why she got disturbed when angel gabriel came and announced to her the birth of jesus and that is why she asked how can this be you say to me that i am going to conceive a child and a bear a son who will be called as jesus but how this is going to happen in my life she asked is it is mainly because she knows the situation of the society and the situation of the of her time my dear brothers and sisters in jesus christ when angel gabriel explained to her that she is going to conceive a child through the power of the holy spirit she willingly accept god's invitation to become the mother of god mother of christ she was not worried about the reaction of saint joseph because she was only betrothed to saint joseph and she was not living with saint joseph my brothers and sisters in jesus christ in jewish society when a girl is betrothed to a man they were not considered as husband and wife at the sight of the society still they were considered as single once they get married and once the girl goes to the house of the husband has goes to the house of the man then only they are considered as husband and wife mother mary knew all these social repercussions but still for all she was not worried about the reaction of saint joseph and she was not worried about the reaction of the society because god explained to her everything through the words of angel gabriel and she was ready to say yes to god's loving invitation to become the mother of god my dear brothers and sisters in jesus christ as we are celebrating this great feast of the solemnity of the annunciation of annunciation of our lord to the blessed virgin mary we are also asked to have that same heroism that our blessed mother showed in her life when god explained to her what is going to happen in her life she was not worried about the reaction of his of her own husband and the reaction of others now this is what we see even in the life of the apostle of sri lanka saint joseph was we know that when we when we read the biography of saint joseph was we see that she uh, saint joseph was dedicated his own his whole life through blood to the blessed virgin mary and he said saint joseph was said i will become a slave of blessed virgin mary now he not only dedicated his life to blessed virgin mary but he too showed such a heroism in his life in following the footsteps of blessed virgin mary that is why he came all the way from india to sri lanka to cater the spiritual needs of sri lankan catholics when there was no even a single priest to look after the catholic flock he was not worried about the reaction of the people because he was coming as a foreigner foreign priest to this land but he was not worried about the reaction of people he was not worried about his accommodations he was not worried about his food he was not worried about anything it is mainly because he was also following the footsteps of blessed virgin mary and he showed such a heroism in living his priestly life here in sri lanka therefore my dear brothers and sisters in jesus christ we are also invited to show such a heroism while living as catholics here on earth we must follow the footsteps of blessed virgin mary we must follow the example of saint joseph was in living our catholic faith by showing real heroism real catholic heroism in our life amen